four of warning systems will cover the takeoff configuration warning system, the landing configuration warning system, the stall warning system, and the overspeed warning system. We will begin with the takeoff configuration warning system. The takeoff configuration warnings alert the crew that the airplane is not properly configured for takeoff. The correct takeoff configuration consists of flaps in a takeoff position, body gear centered, parking brakes released, speed brake lever in the down detent, and stabilizer trim in the takeoff range. If the airplane is not properly configured for takeoff, and engine 2 or engine 3 thrust is increased to the takeoff range, the takeoff configuration warning activates. Takeoff configuration warning consists of activation of the warning siren, illumination of the master warning lights, and an ICAS warning message. The warning remains until the configuration error is corrected. The five possible takeoff configuration warning messages are configuration flaps, which indicate the flaps are not in a takeoff position, configuration gear center, which indicates the body gear are not centered, configuration parking brake, which indicates that the brake is set, configuration spoilers, which indicates the speed brake lever is not in the down detent, and configuration stabilizer, which indicates the stabilizer is not in the takeoff range. These configuration messages are covered in more detail in the flight controls and landing gear modules. If engines 2 and 3 thrust is decreased below the takeoff range, and the airplane is still incorrectly configured for takeoff, the siren no longer sounds and the master warning lights extinguish. However, the ICAST warning message remains displayed for 10 seconds. The takeoff configuration warnings are inhibited after V1 on takeoff. Let's now discuss the landing configuration warning system. The landing configuration warning system alerts the crew that the landing gear is not down for landing. Two conditions activate the warning. The first condition is radio altitude less than 800 feet with any engine at a low thrust setting and the gear not down. The second condition for landing configuration warning is any time that landing flaps are selected with the gear not down. Landing configuration warning consists of activation of the warning siren, illumination of the master warning lights, and the ICAS warning message, configuration gear. If the cause of the landing configuration warning is low radio altitude with a low thrust setting, pushing either master warning caution reset switch or extending the gear silences the siren and extinguishes the master warning lights. If the cause of the landing configuration warning is selection of landing flaps with the gear not down, The gear must be extended to deactivate the warning. Pushing a master warning caution reset switch in this case will not silence the siren. If the airplane must land with less than all gear extended, pushing the ground proximity configuration gear override switch inhibits the warning siren. Landing configuration warning is also inhibited automatically on takeoff from gear retraction until 140 seconds elapsed time or 800 feet, whichever occurs first. The warning is inhibited for up to two thrust levers retarded.
If the takeoff or landing configuration warning systems are inoperative, the configuration warning system message is displayed on ICAS. If the system fails, configuration warning messages may or may not be displayed, and they may not be correct. Now, let's look at the stall warning system. Stall warning is provided by two independent stall warning systems. When the angle of attack indicates an approach to a stall, stick shakers vibrate both control columns. The last system to be covered is the overspeed warning system. Whenever VMO MMO is exceeded, an overspeed warning occurs. The overspeed warning consists of activation of the warning siren, illumination of the master warning lights, and the ICAS warning message overspeed. The warning remains active until the airspeed is reduced below the operating limit. Question. Answer C is correct. The landing gear must be extended to silence the siren.